lot of, lot of stuff in there. We lost a lot of, a lot of stuff. Okay. Pictures, uh, oh geez, I don't know. Everything, yeah, it kind of sucks. Good evening, I'm Larry Spinancy. Cox has the evening off. A Somerset family of 11 is working together to make sure that this holiday is extra special after their home of five years burned last week. Well, now LEX 18's Rachel Richardson reports about how generous the community has been during this tough time. It's tonight's big story at six. Today, one Somerset family is working on a major project ahead of the holiday. Last Wednesday morning around 730, Chris Farmer woke up to a fire that started in his family's home. He immediately went to wake up his family. As I went through the house, I figured out the bathroom was on fire and went upstairs to get him and got everybody out of the house. Seven of his kids and his wife were inside. Everyone made it out safely. But 17-year-old Toby Greshaw says he can't believe this happened to his family and so close to the holiday. It's hard, but I feel like that. I mean, everything happened for a reason, but it's, good. it's rough, but we'll turn it into something better. In January, this family would have been in this home for the last five years. They believe that the fire was caused by an electrical spark, but now they're all working together to rebuild before the holidays. It's going to be 30 by 40. It's going to have three rooms for the kids. Me and my wife a room and a bathroom, kitchen, living room, just like a regular home. Chris and his son are working to build a temporary shelter in the garage behind their home. The family tells me they lost everything, but Pulaski County's community began helping immediately, beginning with a sheriff's deputy who was on the scene who donated shoes to the family. He says it's what anyone would do. When a tragedy happens of some kind, how everybody pulls together, you really see that people are people. Don't matter who you are. Chris showed me a carload of donations they've gotten since last week. I mean, they keep giving donations. We keep appreciating every bit of it. Um, the local garbage company, they donated some. Uh, the art daycare, my family, and anybody that's really seen it. Toby says every day is different and comes with a mix of emotions. But at the end of each day, he's grateful that no one was hurt and that they have each other to lean on. That's all we've been doing is we're just supporting each other and being there for each other. That's what we mainly need right now is just each other. This family is picking up the pieces and rebuilding together. In Somerset, Rachel Richardson, LEX 18 News.